Alright, alright guys, I am back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you one of the easiest salads that you could put together. Just a regular macaroni salad with tuna added. Few ingredients, very little time. So let's jump into this video and I'll show you what all I use. Okay guys, so for this uh, salad I'm going to be using some elbow macaroni. Some black pepper. Some Duke's mayonnaise, always Duke's, only Duke's. This is some sweet relish. And I have four cans of tuna and water. I prefer an oil, but this will work. Okay, guys, so something I didn't mention previously is that I also add uh, boiled eggs to my salad. But you'll see that uh, later in the video. So right now I just have my water in the pot and I salted my water. You want to make sure you salt your water first so that your noodles will have some flavor to it because it's going to be hard to uh, add that flavor to the noodles later. So I just bring my water to a boil and then I'll come in and add my noodles. Now I didn't use all of this box. Um, I probably use the uh, equivalent of one small box. I forgot the exact size of it. But you just want to get that mixed up. So that they don't stick together. And once we have that mixed, I'll cover it and just bring it to a bowl and let it cook. And then I'll drain the water and start making our salad. Alright, so my noodles have been boiling now for about 15 minutes. Now, for me, I'm always a kind of a al dente pasta type of guy, but whenever I'm cooking for someone else or for others, I just go ahead and make sure that it's completely soft. Not everyone's uh, preference is the same, so I'll let these go for maybe just another 5 minutes, and then I'll drain them and put everything together. Alright, so I have my noodles out of the pot now, and they've been cooling down for just a little bit. I don't want them to get too cool. I still like making my salad when my noodles are kind of warm. So I'm just going to dump in my tuna now. And after I get that added, then I'll come in and add the sweet relish to it. And I like making my salad the night before. That way it allows the flavors to kind of marry together overnight. And then that next morning I could go back and see if I need to add more mayo or uh, more relish or anything like that. So I'll get my relish in and then I'll come in and I'll add my mayo to this. I only add a little mayo at first. Just to kind of come behind everything to bring everything uh, together. And being that that noodle is still warm, it's going to really absorb that mayo. So the next morning I know I'm going to need more, but I don't want to put too much the night before. And then it uh, just be kind of runny and soggy like, and I don't like that. Alright, so this looks good. The only thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to come in and I'm going to add a little black pepper to this. And then I'll give it a final mix and put it in the fridge overnight. And in the morning I'll uh, add my boiled eggs to it. And I know I'm going to have to add a little more mayo to it and maybe a little more relish. Now, it may look like that's a good consistency, but I promise you, uh, when you see it the next morning, it's going to be a little bit drier than this because those uh, warm noodles soaked up that mayo. Alright, 
right, I'll put this in the fridge and I will be back in the morning. Uh -huh, two seconds YouTube time. <laughs> All right, so our salad has been in the refrigerator overnight. And just by looking at this, I can tell that I'm going to need some more mayo added to this. So I'm just going to give it a stir and that'll kind of tell me how much more I need to add. And that was clumping together and a little dry, so I'm going to come in and I'm going to add another two to three scoops of mayo to this. Now, I don't have exact measurements of how much uh, mayo and relish and stuff I have. You kind of just have to use your own judgment um, for what's your preference. And I'm going to add some more relish to this. And after I add this relish, then I'll come in and I'll add my uh, boiled eggs to this. Alright, get my eggs added. Then I'm going to come in and add a little bit more pepper to this. And I'll give it a mix. You want to make sure that you mix this really, really well because sometimes uh, not everything at the bottom could get mixed so you have to make sure that you actually go deep enough to make sure everything is fully incorporated. Alright, so now what I uh, noticed about this is that I needed a little bit more relish. I don't want to put too much in it because my sister loves my tuna salad, but she doesn't like a lot of relish. So, But this absolutely needed a little bit more relish to it. Okay, and that's a couple more spoonful of mayo that I added also. And I know that this is going to give me the consistency that I want because it was still a little bit uh, dry. And this is definitely the consistency that I want. So I'm just going to make sure that everything is mixed well and then I'll smooth it out and the salad will be done get back in here all right all right guys so you can see I have my salad smoothed out on the top and I cleaned up around the edge of the bowl and now I'm going to come in. I always set aside just one egg. And I'll cut that in half and then cut those half in half. And I just use it to decorate the top of my salad. You don't have to do this, but it's just something that I do. All right. And our salad is done. I know my sister is going to love this. And if you enjoyed this video, guys, please give me a like. Leave me a comment. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Also share this video if you could. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Cooking and Chilling with Kenny. And until next time guys. Peace.